Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In recent decades, many studies on fluid flow and heat transfer in porous media have been conducted by researchers. The porous medium is formed in such a way that its volume includes pores and apertures. Porous media have wide applications in industries such as crude oil production, optimal installation of buildings and heat exchanger with recovery and etc. In this project, nanofluid flow heat transfer in a heat exchanger containing porous medium is simulated and analyzed by ANSYS Fluent software. The energy model is activated and the Spalorette Alarmas model is activated for solving the turbulent flow. The geometry of the present model is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler software. The mesh used for this geometry consists of two types of mesh structured for upstream and downstream part of the domain and unstructured for the middle part of the geometry. The total number of mesh cells is equal to 1,901,882. Under the general setup tab, you can see different buttons from scales to units. By clicking on the scale, by clicking on display button, a new window will appear which you can see different parts parts of your geometry. After double clicking on the energy button in the appeared box you can see that we have enabled the energy equations since we wanted to calculate the temperature changes and temperature distribution inside our computational domain. Also by clicking on the thermal tab you can see the thermal condition of this world is defined to be heat flux and the value of the heat flux applied on this boundary is equal to zero which means that this world is adiabatic. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals or reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation, you are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. Now in this contour, you can easily see the velocity distribution, especially in the middle section of our geometry, where the tubes are located. Now in this contour, you can easily see the temperature distribution inside our computational domain, and you can easily see the temperature changes when the airflow has passed over the tubes, which causes the airflow to lose its temperature. Also, in order to extract the stream and path lines, all you have to do is to right click on path lines button and then select new. In the appeared window under the release from section we select the inlet boundary and click on save or display button. And finally in this slide you can see the streamlines of the airflow in the middle section of our geometry where the tubes are located. Now as you can see in this contour vortices have been generated inside our computational domain which causes the heat transfer rate to increase. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.